We just want to be able to, so you can appreciate what the guys will be doing in November, we want to put up our little clip of the car and the little map of where the cars will be going. So four different teams will be going out in November. And um, you'll see now on the screen. So trip A, that will be Brother Levi, Brother Witness, and Brother Peter Mackenzie Spanda. And they will be traveling from here. They will go to Gweru. They will have meetings in Gweru. Spend a night in Gweru. From Gweru, they will head to Kadoma. So they will share the gospel there in Kadoma. They won't spend a night. They will turn around and head to Gokwe that same day. Spend a night in Gokwe and in the morning they're going to share with the pastors in Gokwe and then drive back to Blaya. So that's team A. Wow, eh? Team B, this hopefully brother Peter McKenzie will be coming from South Africa. These are going to be day trips. So we're going to leave Bulawayo and we are going to go to Gwanda. Same format of meetings. The team drives back to Bulawayo. And then the next day, we go to M. Kanwini. So that's not a long trip. It's just around the corner. And then from Kanwini, we'll go to Wange and then drive back. All these will be day trips. So remember, we, we really would appreciate your prayers as we really need the mind of Christ and the wisdom of the Lord. So Team C, Epworth, Bunkert, Chinoi, Mangura. This is Peter McKenzie again with another team of elders. So they will leave Bulawayo and go to Harare. Then from Harare, obviously, Epworth. Then from Epworth, they're going to go to Bunkett. Share the gospel there. Then they're going to go spend a night in Chinoy. To then wake up the next morning, sharing the gospel with the pastors in Chinoy. Spend another night in Chinoy. Then they're going to go to a place called Mangura. Some of you might know Mangura Stadium. So that's where they're going to go. And then they're going to drive back to Harare and then back to Bulawayo. Then Team D, the longest trip ever. This is Brother Richard with the team of brothers. So he's going to leave here. Off to Harare, Chitungwiza. then I honestly cannot remember which place is called Zone 1, but there's a Zone 1 there in Harare where we're going to meet with pastors again the following Monday. So this will be on the 5th of November. Then on the 9th, Brother Richard meets pastors there in Harare again. Then on the 10th, he leaves from Tare. Share with the gospel with the pastors in Tare, and then they're going to go spend a night in Chipinge. Where they're going to, obviously, the next morning share the gospel with the pastors there. Then they spend another night in Chipinge and then off to Gutu the following day. Share with the brothers there. Then they will drive straight to Masringo where they will spend a night. And then the next morning they're going to share the gospel with the brothers there. And then they're going to drive all the way back home. Wow. Eh? That's some driving. We can give the Lord a clap offering. Why am I saying we need to clap to the Lord? Is because before we could not do this. Zimbabwe was not as open to the gospel as it is now. So some of you may look and think, Shisha, this guy is normal to be doing all this. But we realize that the Lord has given us a window of opportunity and we do not want to miss out. So we will appreciate your prayers and your support in any way. And as I said to the guys in the prayer meeting yesterday, it is not just Brother Richard's vision, Brother Mickey's vision, Brother Tully's vision. It is our vision together as a church to spread the gospel in our country. Amen. So exciting times ahead. God bless you and Brother Mike.